Cameron, back again for another Twigtown video. Um, this is one of our first unboxings. I'm here at the Twigtown Taipei Test Lab. Um, and we're going to bring you a series of unboxings of new product, products that we get. And the first one we have is the MSI Z77A GD65. Um, this is an upcoming motherboard that's probably going to re be released uh, next month. Um, and it's, it supports third generation uh, Intel Core CPUs. That's what MSI told us to call it. We know, and I'm sure you guys know, this is an Ivy Bridge motherboard. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to give you an unboxing. You can see the box here, uh, Military Class 3, Click BIOS 2, OC Genie 2, um, PCI Express uh, Gen 3, supports 22 nanometer uh, CPUs, SLI Crossfire, um, the works, lots of good features on this board. So let's open it up. We've already um, removed some of the plastic from the, um, uh, from the board here. Um, we've got IO, this is IO connector. Pretty standard, nothing uh, too special there. Uh, this is SLI bridge. Um, we have SATA connectors, as you can see here, SATA cables. Um, this is Quick Connect for um, plugging in your speaker, power reset, uh, things like that. Uh, driver and uh, utilities DVDs, you can see here. This is Certificate of Quality and Stability for the Military Class 3 boards, which of course this board is one of them. Nice little certificate there that you get with the board. Um, PCIe X16 slot, support table, nothing too exciting there. Um, this is the user guide for software and the user guide for the motherboard. Plenty of detail in here as you can see. I hope you can see on the camera. Lots of detail. And this is just a quick installation guide. And these are the voltage check uh, points. So you, we'll show you later on the board. You can plug these in. You can quickly um, get access to the voltage, certain voltages of the board. Okay, so that's covered the bundle and what's included in the board. Um, we'll open this up and pull the board out quickly and then just uh, give you a quick look at the board as well. So, yeah, this is it. This is the MSI Z77 AGD65. So, it will support, as we've told you, uh, third generation 22 nanometer processors from Intel that are coming out very soon. Um, so, what is a passive cooling solution, but if you look really closely, it's really awesome looking cooling, like heat sinks and uh, heat pipe setup we've got here. Real, really impressive design. We think it looks great. Um, the colors on the board, it looks fantastic. It just looks like a really nice board when you look at it. And very high quality, high quality passive cooling here. Um, you've got dual channel DDR3. Um, you've got three um, by 16 PCI Express slots. We're not exactly sure if it supports uh, three-way SLI. We're pretty sure it's a, a three-way three -way cross, Crossfire X. We haven't actually tested this board yet, but we will be soon. Um, there's great spacing here. So for like dual slots, um, video cards, if you're running them, that you're not going to run into heat issues. Like some boards, they put the uh, PCI Express slots right next to each other, and that really causes the video cards to heat up. And then, of course, they're going to become louder because the fan's going to be working harder. So MSI have really taken care of that here. Um, if we show you the, the I.O. panel over here, I'm not going to go through all of them, but you get a quick look. Um, of course, you've got USB 3, which is native through the Z77 chipset. DVI, HDMI. Um, optical audio here, bunch of other USB ports, VGA. Um, now, we, if we come over to this side of the board, we've got a bunch of um, side slots here. This is a, a USB 3 front header um, connector here. This here, I hope you can see it. This is the this is the area for the voltage um, checkpoints, which we saw before. You can use these to get quick quick access to check your voltages. It's very handy for overclockers. Um, power button here, reset, this is OC Genie for quick overclocking. Um, plenty, what I'm seeing as well, is a lot of fan headers, which I've just noticed as well. This is very handy, a lot of overclockers like to use, in addition to the LN2 or other extreme cooling, they do like to use a lot of fans, as many as possible. 8-pin um, PCI, uh, CPU power um, header here, and uh, I think We've covered pretty much all of it. Um, we were going to be testing this board pretty soon. 
Um, so yeah, look forward to the full review on Tweaktown and I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing and we're going to have plenty more for you soon.